Mikey's Team Kelly. <laughs> He's Team Kelly. This is Mikey Ortiz. Christine Bateman. And then over there, it's Tiffany. If I had to describe working with George in one word, it would be random. I did that. Should I have done another battle or not? It's never boring. Every day is kind of a surprise, and it's a good surprise. Mike is funny. It's <laughs> very funny. He's like one of those beavers and butthead. <laughs> So what's good about him is he's not, um, he doesn't sort of take things to heart, but he does have a sort of habit of disappearing without saying where he's gone, which can be a bit worrying, you know, because... I Houdini a lot. Yeah, he just kind of, he's like a cat, like, just goes off and he's got like, obviously, go, what he basically does, he goes off and hangs out with Tim Kelly. <laughs> he just wanders around and I'm like, Mikey, where did you go? You can go where you want, but just don't disappear, because it's weird, you know what I mean? It's like, creepy. Sometimes we have to wait, but, you know, that's what we do. Everyone's pretty easy going, nobody gets upset about anything, nobody kind of holds on to things. Christine sometimes does. <laughs> For I'm about a week. <laughs> Christine gets the most grief, if anyone, because Christine's in my face, you know, <laughs> several times a day, you know, she's really in my face, so, you know, Christine gets the, probably, if I'm being badly behaved, it's, it's to Christine. He's my favourite client, I stuck with him, and now he's a mate. <laughs> no one does me like Christine. Oh, I've really worked with all the greats. <laughs> she's got amazing. the easiest face to make up in the she's world. Amazing. He is like, he's a canvas. Every makeup artist finds it a joy to work with him. Christine's so cute, isn't she? <laughs> I drive her out the world, but she's just like, she's That's basically, really nice. you've, like, you've definitely got the like thicker skin of anyone I've ever met in my life. That's because I'm thick. But then she'll like go for months and months and months, like you've had rows and arguments, and then she'll explode over like a hair grip. <laughs> Something really unimportant will make her lose the plot. And you go, you upset about that? Back to scheduling. Tiff used to work for my manager for many years. When I met Pika, I met Tiff. Yeah. Flew to LA, and there she was to meet me. And I was like, hello. And he went to the wrong person. Because I'd never met him before. Well, Banana Rama was there, so I thought, well, she's obviously come to meet me. <laughs> It's true though, it was one of Banana Rama. I just went, oh, that's nice of you to come and meet me. She goes, I haven't come to meet you. <laughs>